Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn me love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And yeah, man, I'm back off of vacation. Things good, life is good, man. Had some good time with uh, family, wife, granddaughter, man. Just, yeah, real good time, man. So. Let's get back into this thing, man. So I jumped back on, you know, I think this is my first game. Like, you know, once I got it, everything hooked back up uh, here at the crib. And so came out against, uh, against this guy and, you know, he had Lamar Jackson. I guess he had his Ravens theme team or whatever popping. And so, you know, just coming out, trying to play some of my nice uh, base box defense you know, right there, got him into a fourth down situation. You know, he stepped up in the pocket. I really thought I should have made a play right there with um, Crowder, but seemingly, you know, EA had other plans, you know, as he's able to catch me out there in the flats, you know, with a nice little out and up kind of route. Um, caught him, flushed him out of the pocket. That was just a totally ill-advised throw because that dude just was, he just wasn't open. If I were him, I would have just taken the sack on that one. Um, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, there was just no way, no way that ball was getting through there. At least I don't think. <laughs> All right, so, you know, coming back, you know, trying to knock the rust off, you know, pocket presence. I'm a little drifty, you know, this game, but, you know, trying to get my feet set and, and basically just work some of those combinations to get myself down the field. I think I had a double corner route happening right then. Um, nice double by the left guard, like in a lot of these situations, um, the pacing video that I released kind of shows, you know, how to get guys like, you know, especially if you're running the ball, a lot of those inside zones, you see me drift off into a sack right there, how to drift off and get to that next level. Um, nice conversion right there on the high pass. I told y'all before, I'm telling you, um, controlling yeah your pass trajectory all that kind of stuff man y'all go check out those virtuals but just sitting in the pocket right there catching them on a nice little texas route uh nice little inside whip right there or inside zig uh the carmichael carmichael picks up some good yards i hate the way michael vick turns on uh any bubble screen or any kind of screen pass he throws to the left um, caught him right there in man to man. As I tell y'all all the time, you you are not going to stop too many guys who really know how to run curl routes against straight man to man. You're gonna have to have somebody underneath um, in order to help. Got a little bit of pressure right there, you know, coming from the outside. I like to send pressure a little bit on first down. Man, I thought I should have made that play right there. Uh, Grunt kind of stood there for a second, but. You know, this guy, I mean, he had you know, had a couple little dots. You know, he wasn't afraid to throw the ball. Had a nice little run right there. Um, I think that's, was that Marshall Falk? Yeah. He had the spot built on. Y'all know about spot builds. Um, so, what was this? Second and four right now. A little bit of play action right there. I think I, I thought I took away everything that he wanted right there. I think, I don't know if that was a corner route in fade or double corner route but i felt like i should have got that book right there and they just did not um see fit either right there either i'm like man come on what's up man i'm just getting back on the game look y'all give me a couple days for y'all start cheating me um he is killing me with that little out and up fade right there uh, i forgot what that play is called and then you know he gave me the juke 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 you know the 45 <laughs> juke moves all in one right there we just could not make the tackle um nice hesitation right there not the screen itself but he actually did a hesitation move before the game paused or whatever um 
you know, he has Mar that little Marshall Falk and Derrick Henry con combo going right there. And, you know, it's, it's causing a little bit of problem. But even though as I get him to fourth down right there. And so my whole thing is like, I've really learned in certain situations, there are really good defenses called, but the box defense, I'm telling y'all, man, you have not got the box defense virtual. You're, you're tripping because you really need to know how to stop a lot of these route combinations and the box defense just takes care of a lot of that nice one-on-one -on -one. oh i don't know what the deal was with that that was a high ball i felt like i should have caught that um what we get last play of the half or something like that yeah nice little run right there by henry but you know really not a whole lot going on and so step up right there and totally missed my r1 receiver streaking down the sidelines over there by himself I, I was yeah I don't know what I was thinking about when I threw that I didn't even I didn't even really look at him until I actually threw the ball <laughs> just terrible anyway he was trying to field goal you know nah that didn't work and so we just 7-0 at the half you know we're thinking we're like all right we get the ball back and so my whole thing is just go down get at least three points if i can get three points out of this then for me that'll be some good i'm so glad i didn't throw that because that was going to be a pick at some point in time mm. nice high ball right there catching kyle pitts on a nice little fold technique coming inside up underneath the safety and behind the linebackers just dropped it in there with the high pass uh first of 10 i think we at our still at our 41 but I, I started to kind of notice i'm like okay he's bringing his his linebackers and stuff i mean he's kind of spread out a little bit against certain formations that i'm running and so once i start to see that i start to figure i'm like okay i can really run the ball when i want to it's just a matter of you know getting the right pace you know being able to double and roll watch my watch my left watch my left guard and my center on these plays, that's a center. <laughs> yeah, watch the double and roll right there. It's a nice little double team, you know, keeping the inside stuff guy from penetrating right there. Watch them just double and roll, just time and time again, double and roll right there every time. As you see, I'm just pacing myself, I'm telling y'all, y'all might want to get that virtual, but pacing myself where I'm, I'm able to get back, you know, behind my um, left guard, you know, once. You know, after he's already made his double team block, his assist on the double team. And so right there, you saw the linebacker kind of shooting from the backside. I'm, I'm figuring I just send the, send the linebacker straight. I mean, send the guard straight at the linebacker. And you know the guy's coming off the backside. Just trying to be able to, excuse me, being able to pace myself a little bit in order to stay ahead of him and for him not to be able to crash the backside. Um, catch me. So, yeah, that, that one kind of ended i don't know yeah i'm gonna say the guy quit i don't know what happened because it was kind of the connection was kind of shaky even though i'm i'm hardwired but that's weird so anyway so came out against this next guy and yeah he had i like y'all know i'm i've played with the jags for a long time and so you know love the uniforms but he came out right there and that kind of pissed me off because that was offensive pass interference if you go back and rewind that yeah, the uh, wide receiver on that side was conveniently blocking me as I was trying to come up and make a play on the ball. All right. So he's hit me with a little Freddie T to the side right there. Pause. Um, and, and right now, it just seems like my defense is a step slow and a step slow reacting. And so he's just right there on the edge. Good block. I just totally whiffed the tackle right there. Um, he was actually running <laughs> slow. <laughs> Weird. He had good pacing on that. He tried to step up in the pocket right there, but I was sending a little bit of pressure right there, trying to get my linebacker inside. But on the uh, next play, he kind of caught me with the two little crosses right there. I guessed and guessed wrong um, with my user, you know, taking the first guy instead of the guy he had running behind him. And so, you know, seven nothing. And so right now, Again, I'm, I'm a little bit rusty and I'm drifty in the pocket. I'm trying to at least get my feet set, you know, to try to make the throws that I need to make, trying to get back in rhythm a little bit, you know, hitting them with, 
you know, Derrick Henry out there in the flats and then coming back, just just taking the yards that he's giving me, trying to get first downs, try to hit him with a little corner route, defender him right there, but he had good defense. Actually, uh, yeah, I think he has his, I think that's his safety, just, just dropping out there in that, that curl flat. He must have that pretty deep because, yeah, he, he was actually defending that. Normally that play kind of gets open, and then I catch him in a little bit of man-to-man -man right there. Nice corner route, nice lead. Um, and so right now I'm, I'm kind of looking at his front, and I'm like, all right, you know, where are the holes at? Where are the holes in the defense? Catch him with a corner route over here on the right, the pits. And that was a nice dime by Michael Vick. Um, get myself basically in scoring position. Comes out. They're trying to run a little inside zone. And he is shooting the gap with Crowder. And so I I see what I want in terms of his front. It's just really a matter of me just trying to find the proper space, you know, to, to make my initial cut up. You know, at some a certain point, it seems like some sometimes you're overrunning the spot. And right there, that was a flag. Yeah, yeah. You see my little protest there as I take the three points. End up kicking it off. You know, he gets a few yards on kickoff. And so now he comes back out, you know, running Fred Taylor off to the left. Apparently, he sees something over there to the left. Um, right there, ah, uh, man, that, that kind of pissed me off because I, I just... The click on that they gave me, if I'd known that I was going to get, uh, see, y'all trying to bait me into saying that stuff. But if I had known I was going to get the defender that was over the top, I would have came down to try to make the play as opposed to run away because I thought they were going to give me the defender that was had the underneath leverage. See, I made my way through that. But anyway, now I'm down 14-3. And so right now, um, my whole thing is I have to score Nice little screen pass right there. If you do not have the screen pass virtual, again, you're tripping. I throw some of the best screen passes you guys will ever see. If y'all notice, even just watching my gameplay, my gameplay looks somewhat, it doesn't look the same. Like, you're going to see me throw these passes. You're going to see me make these cuts. I'm not necessarily a guy who uses the juke move all that effectively, but... You know, I just understand how to how to run with mechanics and run in rhythm. And so once you kind of understand that, you know, then I was going to say, then you're able to get those uh, secondary yards, which I was unable to get right there. See me cut up in the pocket right there, step up in the pocket right there, catch Kyle Pitts coming back inside. Nice cut right there by Derek Henry. And just being able to pace yourself will help you're blocking because I'm allowing my blockers to engage. You see right there, I'm just not, I'm not gunning it, you know, necessarily going in one direction. You'll see me make those little shifts and shakes, you know, when I get the ball in, I, I explain that in some of my virtuals, that's a way of me trying to control, you know, the defensive pursuit angles. Again, the defense pursues you, at the speed or the rate you run at them, past them, in front of them, whatever. But, you know, y'all can go back a couple of videos and find that out. Um, right now, so going into the end of the half, you know, 14 to 10, and get the ball back right there. And I was going to, yeah, I mean, I was going to I was gonna throw one right there. But, oh, I'm in the third quarter. Sorry, I'm all off. But third quarter right here, it, it's... To me, things aren't looking good, especially when I stop, dr start dropping curl routes and stuff. But, you know, I'm able to kind of catch him right there, still unable to take advantage. And so now we're four from 15. And so now I'm just at a point. I'm just like, all right, whatever. But again, I keep telling you guys, the curl route, man to man against the curl route is a recipe for disaster. And so right now, I'm, I'm clearly hanging on by dear life, and I'm just trying to get the yards that they're giving me at this point. That was a real risky throw right there, and he's sending a little bit of pressure, and so me just being able to avoid and, and kind of buy a little bit of time in the pocket to get, uh, I don't know if that, I think that was Kyle Pitts out there um, on the corner route, catch Fittering over here on the RPO, on the screen pass, and so second and one, and so now I'm feeling a little bit, of, a little bit better. You see me kind of bluff snapping right there, uh, I don't know who that was, but he got off the block and still was able to uh, get in the backfield. And so now I start to notice that he has film study. 
because I see the little camera thing or the little camera icon above, you know, his, his defensive end right there. And so I don't know what I was thinking about, but I'm like, okay, so he knows what I'm running. Basically, you know, if I'm running the same stuff, but at this point right now, I'm, I'm just trying to lean on him. I'm just playing a game where I don't want to turn the ball over, but I'm trying to get yards. And I, I know how important this drive is. And so once again, right there, just being able to pace yourself, you have to have the confidence to run the ball straight ahead, even against, you know, inside stuff kind of defenders. Wow. He clicked off and then on and then off and then back on and still made the tackle. Yeah, it was crazy. So right now, I'm just not willing to take too many chances. Run it down to the fourth. Derek Henry with a nice hesitation right there and step back across. Watch the hesitation right there. You see the plant step? You know, those are all mechanics pacing. You just have to understand how to take off what you should be doing when you get the football in your hands from a mechanic standpoint. All right, so right now, uh-oh. Caught him right there, box defense. I don't know what he was looking at, but he saw something or he saw something get taken away. And yeah, I, I have a hard time seeing that he was throwing right there because he was never open. So I don't know if he either hit the wrong button or predetermined that the guy was going to be open. But at that point, that was critical. And so now he comes back out thinking that the seam routes are open. And, and the box defense, again, I mean, you're, you're looking at it. I, I, hey, a lot of people have it. And so if you're getting locked up, yeah, a lot of times, yeah, could be that. Who knows? But at this point right now, I'm just trying to work the pocket a little bit. I was actually trying to throw the ball to the other guy. But, you know, of course, as fate would have it, I throw the ball right back to him. And so at this point now, you know, he catches me with a little bit of, um, he caught me in between like adjustments or whatever. But man, I mean, like, the blocking on that play was crazy. Y'all see, that was a crazy tackle. Go back and look at that play. That was me, user start to finish. And so once you understand kind of defensively what you can audible to out of out of your adjusted defenses, let me say that, what you can audible to in, seem, in terms of the player movement. So that means like when you adjust for one defense, if you're adjusting from a cover three to a cover two, there's going to be a certain amount of movement. If they snap the ball, you know, within the framework of that movement, sometimes you'll catch some of those guys running and then they seem to be more alert to make a play. Yeah, I know it took me a long time to say all that. But yeah, it's just something you have to understand. I, I was throwing that, but yeah, whatever. So we come back out right here after not even making an attempt, but go back and watch that replay right there because that's a click on. And that's actually what I talk about, about having the stick pointed in the right direction when you click on. If you're able to have the stick pointed in the right direction, it helps your defender with his momentum, with his movement, and ultimately with the results. Anyway, man, got a lot coming back.